Thank you, Alan. Your Excellencies, Dato Dr. Amin Liu Abdullah, Minister at the Prime Minister's Office and Minister of Finance and Economy too, Brunei Darussalam, and the current Chair of the ASEAN Economic Ministers. Dato Dr. Isham Jaffa, Minister of Health, Brunei Darussalam. Excellencies of Economic, Finance and Health Sectors from ASEAN. Dr. Kompok, Deputy Secretary General of ASEAN for ASEAN Social Cultural Community. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to speak to you today and welcome you most cordially to the official launch of Avid Knowledge Hub during this momentous event. In the past one and a half days, we have gained a lot from the insightful sharing of policymakers, public health experts, and thought leaders from the health, economic, and finance sectors. What I can marginally contribute to that today is probably going to be quite minimal. And hence, I would like to focus my speech on something more personal. I did not come from a healthcare background. I started my career as an investment professional in GIC. My initial coverage was TMT, and it was subsequently expanded to include healthcare technology. As someone new to the sector, I was intrigued by the investment potential, measured in terms of the value of the identified problems to be solved and the presence of companies claiming to have the technology to solve them. And as you can imagine, I was disappointed. It didn't take me too long to realize the complexity of healthcare, not just in terms of the science, but the institution of healthcare and the often dilemma and inherent conflict of interests that exists between the various stakeholders. This made change difficult and slow. In the past one and a half days, we have heard mentions multiple times about collaboration and coordination. Sharing of information is crucial to facilitating that. But as one of the panelists put it, we often share what we want to and not what we need to. Advancements in data technologies have made data more valuable. However, as data is increasingly regarded as an asset, it may become more guarded, especially in the highly competitive world we are in. As a result, to facilitate collaboration, there needs to be interest alignment and of course trust. This is the motivation behind the Knowledge Hub, positioned to be a community platform to engage and connect multiple stakeholders, including policymakers, health authorities, researchers, academia, and industry players through our key three key focus areas of research, educate, and connect. Our first key focus will be to support more efficient and impactful research and translate this output into actionable insights. Our second key focus will be to facilitate knowledge sharing and transfer between experts and across sectors. This conference is a good starting point, and we hope to make it a recurring event with your support. Our third key focus will be to foster collaboration by aligning common understanding and standards and through technology empowerment for secure and efficient collaboration. We are honoured to have the Ministry of Health Brunei Darussalam as our partner and to be involved in several projects, including the joint study between Duke NUS and University Brunei Darussalam that will be announced later. We hope more will join us. Before I conclude, let me address the question many of you may still be wondering, who is Avid Technology? Most will not have heard about us as we had deliberately kept a low profile. We are a healthcare big data AI company that works very closely with the research community as we fundamentally believe that technology is just an enabler. But research will drive the insights that power our solutions. And while Avid Technology is a commercial entity, we take a long-term view and focus on building relevance and sustainability in our business to maximize long-term value. Taking a long-term view allows us to better align with the interests of our partners and customers and to build trust. Now, let me also close the loop of my personal story. Many have asked me, why do I get more involved in healthcare technology despite my initial disappointment? The answer is simple. The challenges highlighted are worth solving. And if nobody has the perseverance to tackle them, they will never be solved. Finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the Ministry of Finance and Economy, Ministry of Health, and the Brunei Investment Agency in Brunei Darussalam 
for the enthusiasm and support they've provided as host of the event. I would also like to extend my utmost appreciation for the support from Thermasic Foundation as our conference partner. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining me to witness the launch of Avid Knowledge Hub. We look forward to building a happier and healthier community together. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chua, and congratulations once again on the launch of the Evid Knowledge Hub. I'd now like to invite Your Excellencies, Dr. Dr. Amin Liu Abdullah, Minister of the Prime Minister's Office and Minister of Finance and Economy too. Your Excellency, Dr. Dr. Isham, Minister of Health, Brunei Darussalam, representatives of the Brunei Investment Agency and the CEO of Evid Technologies to come to the stage for a group photo to mark the launch of this very special Evid Knowledge Hub. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Next, we'd like to announce the first partnership between the Ministry of Health, Brunei, and the IVID Knowledge Hub. I'd like to welcome Dr. Haja Ani bin Haji Abdurrahman, the Director of Environmental Health Services at the Ministry of Health, Brunei Darussalam, onto the stage to represent the Ministry of Health of Brunei for a group photo taking to commemorate the partnership. <laughs> Thank you very much. This partnership between the Ministry of Health, Brunei Darussalam, and IVID Technology Limited aims to jointly promote public health research and collaboration in ASEAN and develop digital solutions to enhance pandemic preparedness and response in the region. 